Here in Central Florida, Memorial Day ceremonies are being held to honor and remember those who served our country. West 2's Bob Hazen was at today's ceremony in Orange County and spoke with people whose loved ones died serving our country. The wall behind me here in downtown Orlando honors Orange County's fallen heroes. And I talked to a woman today whose loved one died in the service. She says they deserve to be honored every day. This is Army Captain Tony Santiago. He was um, 37 left my beautiful sister-in-law, Cynthia, and his two daughters. His sister, Roxy, is thinking about him today on this Memorial Day. He died back in 1999 while serving, co-piloting a helicopter in Columbia. It was really hard. It took me a long time to get over it or get through it, not over it. I talked to Santiago at this Memorial Day service at the Orange County Courthouse with veterans and the loved ones of those military men and women who gave their lives to the United States. At the ceremony, Marine Corps veteran Sergeant Mike Adams explained what he does on this day. He says he thinks about a friend from the service and what that person would want him to do in their honor. This year, he's thinking about Corporal Jason Dunham, who sacrificed himself jumping onto a grenade in Iraq. Because even though he's the bravest person right, he's also mama's boy. That's why he would ask me to call his family today. So that's what I'm gonna do. Many here also called for more attention to the mental health of veterans and the risk of suicide. And above it all, paying tribute in whatever way you can to the price the fallen have paid. And just remember to honor them. They did, they're fighting for our country. They fought for our country and we deserve to at least give some kind of honor. In Orlando, Bob Hazen, WESH 2 News.